It is one of the most famous canals in the world, a 77 kilometer man-made channel of water that connects the planet's two biggest oceans, the Atlantic and the Pacific. Initially constructed by France before the project was completed by the United States, the Panama Canal opened on August 15th, 1914, and now celebrates its 100th anniversary. Around 14,000 ships cross the canal every year, carrying over 200 million tons of cargo, about 5% of the world's shipping. Peter Hinchliffe, Secretary General of the International Chamber of Shipping, explains how the construction of the Panama Canal carved out a new era for global trade. Global shipping was very different 100 years ago. It was around about the time of the transition between sail and steam and world trade wasn't being conducted in anything like the scale with which it's conducted these days. Um, so the, um, the initiation of this idea of digging a hole through the middle of Panama and cutting that route which ships had to take up until that time of going around the south of South America around Cape Horn uh, was a remarkable boon for the shipping industry. Roughly speaking if you want to go from the west coast of North America to Europe um, and you can now go through the Panama Canal, you're saving about 50% of your transit time. As time has gone on and ships have become more and more dependent on fossil fuel and the price of fossil fuel has inexorably risen, so therefore the importance of a canal like Panama actually increases year on year. In recent times, pressures on the shipping industry to cut down on CO2 emissions has led to ships increasing in size. The problem now is that many of the world's ships are too big to go through the 100-year-old locks of the Panama Canal. There was a size of ship that was the maximum ship that could go through the Panama Canal and they became known as Panamax ships. Well now many, many ships are much bigger than Panamax and so the new locks which they are hoping to open in the beginning of 2016 will be a very significant contribution because they, that means a great proportion of the world's fleet will be able to use this shorter route through the canal. But will the Panama Canal remain the primary route to carry cargo through Latin America? The Nicaraguan parliament has approved a plan to let a Chinese company, the HKND Group, build a canal through the country. Construction work is set to start in December, with the project expected to be completed within five years. The industry will watch with considerable interest whether in fact a new canal can be built. If it can, then I think it's very significant because the discussion is that the canal will have a bigger capability than the Panama Canal in terms of the size of ships and that will be significant. And also at the moment the Panama Canal has a monopoly and I think it would be very good for the industry to have a competitor who can offer perhaps a different pricing structure so that uh, ships using the canal will feel that they are getting fair competition and a fair price for their passage. For now at least, the Panama Canal remains the sole means for vessels to cut straight through the Americas. And with expansion plans already underway, it will continue to be an important feature of world shipping for the foreseeable future.